about a very recent case that happened in early of 2021 and when I heard about this case I knew I had to make a video about it because we are going to be talking about violence against women, harassment and as a woman I feel like I have to talk about this stuff. But before we start this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and click the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I upload videos every Saturday. And if you want to suggest a case, you can reach out to me through the comments or through my social media. My Instagram and my Twitter will be linked down below in the description box. But without any further ado, let's just start this video. Sarah Everhard was born on 1987 in Surrey in England. She spent her childhood in York, where her family still lives, and her father is a teacher and her mother works for a charity. And she also has two older siblings. Sarah went to Full Ford School in York, and Steve Lewis, the headmaster of the school, said that Sarah, her family, and her friends were a precious part of the community. He also described Sarah as brilliant, happy, and kind. After graduating high school, Sarah went to Durham University to study geography. After graduating in 2008, Sarah moved to London where she started working in a company in the Martin area and professionally, she was succeeding. According to those who were close to her, Sarah went through a hard time in the year of 2020. She and her long-term boyfriend broke up. She lost her job. The company that she was working for declared bankruptcy, but still Sarah was so optimistic for the future. We all know what happened in 2020, the pandemic of COVID-19 started and we all had to quarantine. Sarah kept herself busy by working out with the help of online videos. She also got into a new relationship and got a new job. She was very excited about this and she couldn't wait to be able to travel again so she could visit her family near her hometown. On March 3rd of 2021, at around 9 p.m., Sarah left her friend's house near the Clapham Junction. She walked along the road A205 to go home. And while she was walking home, she called her boyfriend. And they talked for about 50 minutes and they made plans to meet in the next day. At around 9.28 p.m., she was seen in a security camera. Four minutes later, she was caught on a security camera of a police car that was passing by and on the camera of a bus at 9.35 p.m. And after that, she was no longer seen. On the next day, Sarah's boyfriend, John, called the police reporting her disappearance. She failed to meet him uh, as they had planned and she was not answering her phone. Police started to investigate the case and they were able to find a suspect, Wayne Cousins, a 48-year-old police officer. He was arrested at his house for kidnapping but no longer after that he was released due to the lack of evidence. Investigators searched more than 750 houses to try to find Sarah. They received more than 100 calls from citizens uh, that were trying to help by giving tips and they also analyzed the image on the security cameras. People started sharing her picture online if anyone had seen her, if anyone knew anything about that, while investigators were searching the places where she was last seen. Police also alert women to avoid walking alone on the streets, especially at night. And I think that's, I mean, it, it was necessary for what was happening, but at the same time, it shouldn't be. Women should not be afraid of walking alone in the streets, no matter if it's during the day or during the night. We should all be safe. As the days went by, the searches for Sarah only intensified and police searched a garage that belonged to Wayne, who at this point is their prime suspect but nothing relevant was found. On March 10th, seven days after Sarah was reported missing, police found a bag containing someone's remains. The bag was in a forest in Kent, 32 kilometers away from Wayne's house. On the same day, police went after Wayne and they arrested him at his house. They also arrest a woman who is about 30 years old only because she was with him at the house and police suspect that she may have helped him but then she was released without formal accusations. But now, who is this man? So, Wayne Cousins is a 44-year-old man who was a part of the Metropolitan Police since September of 2018. Wayne was already being investigated for innocence and exposure in a fast food restaurant in London. Wayne denied being involved in Sarah's disappearance, and on March 11th, he had to be hospitalized because he suffered from a head injury while he was arrested. Police denied having anything to do with it, they said that this happened while he was alone in his cell. 
but in the next day he had to be hospitalized again because he had another head injury. The remains that were found in that bag was confirmed that it belonged to Sarah and on March 14 about two and a half kilometers of the city were isolated so investigators could gather as much evidence as they could. On March 16, the searches in Kent were still going and they were starting to search the water too, trying to find Sarah's phone. Due to the repercussion of this case, the state secretary, Pretty Pilot, said that women should feel safe walking around in the streets, no matter if it's during the day, no matter if it's during the night. They should feel safe and not worry about being harassed or attacked. She also announced that new laws were being discussed to protect women against public harassment. On the other hand, the president of London, Sadi Khan, said that the streets of London weren't safe for women and actions should be taken. And I agree, this has to change. I will speak for myself, I'm tired of not feeling safe walking around in the streets. Sometimes even during the day, it depends where I am, I don't feel safe. If I see a man, no matter who he is, maybe that man won't even acknowledge that I'm there, but still. I don't feel safe. I'm always gonna look over my shoulder to see if that man is following me or if he's staring at me, if he's going to say anything. I just don't feel safe. And I shouldn't have to worry about things like this. I should feel safe. I remember one time where I was uh, waiting for the line to turn green so I could cross the street and a man in his car, like a man who was old enough to be my grandfather, like stare at he was staring at me. He was like driving and he wouldn't take his eyes off me and that made me feel uncomfortable and for some people who think that oh maybe you were wearing uh, something provocative i was wearing jeans and a hoodie and i had my mask like the guy couldn't even see my face i think i've already talked about this in the previous video but clothes are not an invitation um no matter what i'm wearing i'm not asking to be harassed and for those who don't know this i think i thought this was common sense but apparently it's not uh Women don't dress for men. We dress for ourselves. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the world doesn't revolve around men. I'm sorry to have to be the one to told you that. If you didn't know, well, now you do. But now let's continue to talk about the case. I just had to say this. Before Sarah's remains were found, her family and her friends still believed that she was alive. But after hearing that her body was found and that a police officer had been arrested for her murder, the message on social media went from hoping she would be found safe and sound to sharing memories with her. The case reached a huge visibility nationally and people were angry about the situation. People tried to organize visuals, but we were in the beginning of a global pandemic and the country was in lockdowns, so authorities warned them that those visuals would be considered illegal. But despite that, there were still some protests in London and in other regions of England. A memorial was made to honor Sarah, but during one process, Four people were arrested and police officers destroyed the memorial and that only made people angrier. So obviously many women were angry about what had happened to Sarah and they started to share their own stories online, trying to make the authorities do something to stop this violence against women. The last conversation of Sarah was with her boyfriend, at least that we know of because her phone was never found. And investigators don't know for sure if she was able to get home and she was attacked there or if she was attacked while she was walking home. Personally, I think that she was attacked while she was walking home. On July 9th of this year, when Cousins pled guilty to all charges and is facing a life sentence. The sentence will be known on September 29th. So this video, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this, but I know it's before September 29th. So after that, I'm going to leave in the comments his sentence and I'm also maybe going to put it on my Instagram and even if you go to my channel and you go to the to where it says community, I'll also put it there so you will be informed. So um, that's all for this video. Tell me in the comments what you guys think about this case. When I first heard about it, I was actually so mad because it's already bad that she was just walking home and was attacked um by some man and we don't even know why he did it and his, his motives still are unknown so we don't know why he did that to sarah but it made me so mad to think that it was a police officer who murdered her like he was supposed to protect her not attack her 
can even trust in the police like i kind of already knew this but um, yeah it's it's sad but that's all for this video if you're new here please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and turn the post notifications on so you can be notified every time i upload a new video i upload videos every saturday and if you want to suggest the case you can reach out to me through the comments or through my social media my instagram and my twitter will be linked down below in the description box and yeah having all that said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye bye